Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today I'm kind of excited because we're playing not a jank deck necessarily, but kind of a bit of a, a silly one. Uh, I was searching for deck lists this morning. Uh, I know we had a few suggestions in our Discord channel. I looked at those decks, one of which was a cat deck. We've kind of already played a cat deck, uh, and that one, uh, despite looking very, very fun, probably was going to be about the same, so I didn't want to just repeat the same thing. Uh, and then another one, uh, I don't remember. It was... Uh, I have it pulled up. It, either way, we've played both of those decks, if I'm not mistaken, and so uh, today I wanted to play something a little bit different, a little bit silly, but still kind of, kind of good is the idea. And so we found a Hail Hydra deck, so uh, for fans of the Avengers, you'll love it. But uh, the idea here is it's basically a Simic Ramp deck, uh, and the idea is we get to drop all of these really big Hydras and hopefully take over the game with them, uh, which is awesome. And I think it's going to be a really, really fun deck. Uh, I did play test it once, um, and it did win. It very much overpowered, which was really, really fun. Uh, it is an Ozolith deck. Uh, and so a lot of these creatures do end up getting counters on them. It'd be great to be able to put those counters on future creatures if those happen to die. Uh, the Ozolith gives us that ability. Uh, as far as the Hydras themselves, we do have Voracious Hydra as a way to fight creatures uh, or just get a really, really strong trampler on the battlefield. Uh, Hydroid Crisis, Flying Trample, gains us some life, draws us some cards, fantastic as well. Um, the Bio Essence Hydra is one that I usually, I, I don't think I've ever played with until this deck, uh, and I'm really excited about this one. Um, obviously, it's it's very tailored to Planeswalkers. We've got quite a bit of Planeswalkers here, uh, and so assuming we can get at least one or two of those out, he's going to come in with a lot of counters, uh, which is really, really good. And then, of course, uh, Gargus Vicious Watcher. Uh, this is really the one that we want to get out as early as possible because it cheapens all of our other Hydras here, uh, which is fantastic. So uh, very, very good. Also, anytime this becomes the target of a spell, it does get to fight something off. Uh, and being that it is an 8-7 for 6, uh, it's very easy to be able to just kill stuff with it. So uh, very, very good. Uh, as far as the Planeswalkers go, Nissa who shakes the world, a bit of an easy include here. Uh, obviously is going to be ramping us quite heavily, but uh, also gives us some, some extra creatures with uh, little 1-1 one -one counters. Again, synergistic with the Ozolith here, so if those lands happen to die, uh, those counters get to be pushed over here. Uh, Kiora Behemoth Beckoner, really, really good card in this list. Uh, not only does it help us untap uh, lands or something like a Leafkin or Incubation Druid, uh, but it also just helps us draw cards every time we play one of our big Hydras, which is awesome. Um, Dovin Hand of Control, uh, in interesting card for sure. Uh, artifact, instance, and sorceries your opponent's cast cost one, le one uh, more to cast. Excuse me. Uh, so it does slow down uh, control decks a little bit, and then until your next turn, prevent all damage that will be dealt to uh, and by target permanent and opponent controls. So uh, really, really nice to be able to kind of shut down a threat on the opponent's side. Uh, we do have, uh, for ramp, I mentioned Incubation and Leafkin Druid. Uh, incubation, very, very good because it gives us a mana sink as well. So later in the game, if we're really just not getting there on anything, we can adapt this. Uh, and then at least, you know, it'll be producing a lot more mana. It'll be dealing a little bit more damage. Uh, very, very good. Uh, Leafkin Druid obviously gets better as time goes on as well. More creatures out, we get a little bit more mana. Uh, but in general, this is just going to be, you know, our general land. Uh, these two very, very good at kind of clogging up the board in the early game as well. Uh, we also, for a little bit of interaction, have uh, Callus Dismissal. Great way to return any permanent uh, other, than a non uh, other than a land to its owner's hand, and then amassing for one. Uh, again, clogging up the board a little bit, but also getting stuff out of the way. Very, very good. Uh, and then Kazmina's Transmutation, a bit of an interesting one here, um, but actually not bad. So Enchanted Creature uh, loses all abilities and has base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Um, normally you'd immediately think, you know, well, you neuter your opponent's creature, and I think 90% of the time that's exactly what we're going to be doing. However, there are instances where you could, for instance, uh, a land is a 0-0 zero, zero after using it with Nissa Shakes the World, uh, putting those 1-1 one, one counters on it. You can actually buff it up by 1-1 one, one by uh, using the, the transmutation here. And so what's kind of nice about that is if you're only short by 1 damage, 
you just throw Kazmina's transmutation on something and a lot of our stuff you know is going to be you know like hydroid crisis technically a zero zero with a bunch of counters on it giving it a base power and toughness one one is actually a boost to its uh its actual uh power toughness so there's a little bit of odd synergy there um, that we we may or may not get to see. Most times, we're probably going to peg our opponent's creatures. Uh, as far as lands go, we are running 24. We've got 8 and 8 on the forest and islands, 4 breeding pool, and then 4 temple of mystery. Probably could be running some fable passages in here as well, but I did just kind of pull the list as is, uh, just so we could get a very honest look at what it is. So, let's jump in. Let's see how it goes, guys. Uh, this is... The Hail Hydra Simic deck. Very excited to see how this goes. Uh, I think it's fun. I, I like silly stuff like this. Um, want to uh, thank everybody for their support also really quickly uh, on the giveaway and everything that we did last week. Uh, very, very fun. I don't think we can keep this. Um, very, very fun giveaway. We did get uh, a lot of really, really great support there. So thank you to all of you guys. Um, and congratulations again to our, our winner outlaw, Pete. Um, we love doing these giveaways. It's super, super fun for us to, to be able to give back to you guys. Um, and so the next one will be for a core 2021 bundle. Um, don't know exactly when that'll be, uh, but I know we'll, we'll have that up for you guys. It's very, uh, hopefully very, very soon. Um, so we can, start pushing that set i'm excited for it um we've talked a little bit about some of the sp the the spoilers we also talk a good bit about them in our discord channel uh, i know a lot of the people in there are kind of discussing stuff so uh great to see that interaction great to see that community support there and everything so feel free to jump into the discord the link is down below um it's open to everybody so literally you you could literally have just stumbled on this video hated hearing me talk or whatever but you can still go and hang out with some really cool people in our discord so uh would really appreciate uh uh hanging out there uh we do also send out every once in a while uh we've done it only once so far but uh we do plan to send out more coupon codes for for people subscribed in different ways and stuff like that so that's a great way to uh, do that do we want this <sighs> unfortunately i kind of think we do what kind of sucks is we need to get to at least four mana so we can drop Kiora, untap a land, and then get Nissa out. Um, Kalos Dismissal, not exactly sure how good it will be based on the Temple of Enlightenment. Um, looks like Esper Control, maybe. In which case, we're probably going to start losing some permanents here. Let's go ahead and just drop this. Uh, and we will pass. We're not going to untap a land here. There's no need. Interesting. Um, uh, let's do this. Untap that and do that. All right. Try and get Nissa down here. Oh, good. It worked. Um, we're actually just going to untap an island because that's kind of the least important of our lands at the moment. Um, so now we've got two Planeswalkers out, each with six loyalty, which is really good. So they do get to get rid of the island here, which kind of sucks. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright. Another Nissa. Um, okay, well. Hmm, hmm. What's the best bet here? untap this do this we're just going to get as much mana as we can here i think tap that and we're going to do this right that's the best thing i think uh we want to take advantage of the fact that they've got no untapped mana um so getting something really really big down drawing a bunch of cards that just seems like the best bet right now uh surprisingly kind of uh we kind of want land now um all right so we didn't get in for an attack but uh we did get a six six down we drew a bunch of cards that feels pretty good do have to sacrifice the permanent here which i don't like um mm -hmm. we're gonna take away that uh as much as i don't want to i think we kind of have to um all right let's see 
They have one land available. That is not a lot. That's very good for us. Um, we're going to do this. Do this. Get that down, and I honestly think we're just gonna do this. Um, that's not super great, I get it, but we kind of get to do a little bit of everything here, um, just to get that out of the way. Now we've got a million permanents that we can sacrifice, and it's okay. The only thing I don't want to run into is a sweeper here, which they may very well have. Um, I don't know though, this, uh, this Doom Foretold deck, I don't know that they run too many sweepers. I'm, I've not played too much of the Doom Foretold deck. All right, there we go. And there we go. Win number one in the books. I'm liking it. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into game two. I really, really like how over the top this deck goes very, very quickly. I mean, you look at that hand, for instance, we didn't actually have too many lands. We were, we were missing some land drops. Um, and so it felt really, really nice to still be able to kind of go off and do what we needed to do. Uh, thanks to Nissa, who shakes the world especially. That card is stupid good. Um, so let's jump into game two. Let's see how it goes. Um, uh, it's not a great hand, uh, if I'm honest. We need some more land, but uh, this and this really help. We'll try it. We will try it. Um, lead off on the breeding pool, obviously, tapped. Um, and then uh, be able to play the Leaf Kin Druid on turn two. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm a little skeptical. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, let me know, guys, what kind of... We've, we've talked about talking head videos uh, on a once a week vid, uh, basis. Let me know what you guys want to uh, want to see. Uh, as far as that goes, uh, like topic wise, what you guys want me to talk about. Um, I've, I've got a few ideas in mind, but I'd love to hear from you guys. That way I know I'm, you know, at least discussing things that are somewhat relevant to you. Um, other than just spoilers, I mean, we can talk about spoilers too. Uh, and that's super fine with me. Um, but if there is anything in particular that you're really, really interested in hearing either our opinions on or anything like that, I'm happy to talk about it. Um, I've got some ideas for videos like that, but I want to make sure that, again, we're we're doing stuff that you guys actually uh, care about. Um, let's do that. Let's just do this. We're going to pass here. Uh, next turn. I don't know. Maybe just Gargus, honestly. Um... Oh, I hate that they have two different Ajani Pride Mates in their deck. That bothers me to no end. My OCD could not handle that uh, at all. Um, we're not going to block. Ugh, that bothers me so much. Um, okay, let's... Hmm. We're going to do this. We're gonna untap this. We'll just go ahead and play a Gargus here. Uh, we kind of need to get a creature down just to clog up the board a little bit. Um, they may have like a Banishing Light or something, which is gonna put us in a bad situation. But um, they can take out the Kiora regardless. They can just attack with the two Healer's Hawks if they'd like. Um, if they do target this, we do get the opportunity to fight something off as well, which is kind of nice. It's something at least. It. I love that ability on Gargus. It just gives you a little bit of protection, which is nice. <laughs> Interesting. Cool tech card, to be honest. Uh, Exile Target card from. Yeah, that's pretty good tech. Uh, against a lot of decks right now, that's pretty good. I'm with it. All right. Yep. That sucks, but it's fine. Um, hmm. So 
So we can Nissa here if we would like. Which I do kind of think is the right play. Let's do this. That allows us to play Bio Essence Hydra as well. Uh, so now we've got a big 10 10. This has Vigilance, so I'm kind of okay with swinging in with this now. Uh, if they want to double block, that's fine. Um, we have another Gargus, so I'm not super worried about that. Okay. Um, I mean, we'll get rid of the bigger one. Sure. Um, but we still have a 10-10, so I feel a lot better about that. Uh, and a backup Gargus in hand. Um, maybe that was a bit aggressive. I don't 100% know, but we do kind of have to start doing something here, considering they've got Healer's Hawks that we can't really interact with at the moment. Um, here they're going to be able to take out Nyssa, which kind of sucks. Um, but the only positive thing is they do have to attack with both of their, their Healer's Hawks here. <laughs> And our Bio Essence Hydra does have Trample, so even if they block, we're at least going to get some, some damage in. Alright. <laughs> this is going to be a tough one. Land is helpful, uh, to be honest. Hmm. Let's attack first with just the Bio Essence Hydra. Are they out of cards in hand? They are. That's kind of nice. Um, get some damage in, and then let's go ahead and do this. They're probably... Are they just going to... I don't actually know that they do. Okay, that's a problem. Um, chances are we just lose, right? Because we don't have interaction with these. Um, we need a, like a a hydroid crisis or something, but unfortunately we're not getting it. Uh, we do have to block here, essentially. Um trying to think what we could draw other than the Hydroid Crisis really doesn't even <laughs> that definitely doesn't do it uh, we just lose next turn right yeah alright I'm just gonna go ahead and concede there I don't think there's a way we can get out of that uh, let's go ahead and jump into game three unfortunately flyers man yeah you got good flyers you're in good shape so let's go ahead and jump into game three Hopefully, not run into a bunch of healers hogs again. <laughs> um, I will say though, I for for being kind of a silly like thematic deck, uh, I kind of like this one. I mean, it's it's not super. Um, just on the face of it, it doesn't feel super reliable all the time, but it's pretty good. Like it's fun at the very least. So I'm into it. Uh, we'll keep this. Voracious Hydra, very, very good, just to be able to fight off a lot of opponent stuff. Uh, in that case, let's lead off with that. Sure, we'll keep that. Seems good. Uh, gives us the ability to uh, cheapen up all the rest of the Hydras, that seems great. Might be a flash deck, could be a lot of things. Could be a lot of things. What is this? Ah, Teamer. Okay. Uh, let's do this, and we'll just play out a Leaf Kindred here. Uro. Okay. Sure. Very good, very good. Um, okay, so... Um, we'll just do this and this. 
I don't really think there's anything else we should do at the moment. There's no reason to play out the Voracious Hydra quite yet. Um, I'd much rather get Gargus out first anyway. Um, so we'll we'll take it slow, a little bit slow here. Ah, Team Iraq. Oh, of course. Duh. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. They have a counter. Nope. Well, they still might, but they at least didn't play it yet. Um, this team or rack deck tends to run at least some amount of counters, so I would not be surprised if they just counter this. <laughs> but they don't. That's good. They may have a way to kill it or bounce it or do something like that, though. This deck is sweet. This team or rec deck, I think, is definitely the one to watch uh, now that the bands are in place and everything like that. There's just a lot of stuff that can can go wrong with it. So, um, Callus Dismissal, kind of weirdly good. Um, hmm. Should have tapped one of these, actually. That was a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Um, let's play out the Ozolith here. Oh, wait. Uh have to do it this way don't I we'll just go ahead and bounce this there's not a huge reason for or against it uh I mean they're gonna have to replay it but it's not really the worst thing in the world that's fine that's not really the worst thing in the world either <clears throat> We're in the, the mindset of slowing them down. Uh, one top, one bottom is not good for us, to be honest. But, you know, it is what it is. Go ahead and attack for eight. Um, and we'll pass. We really just have to hope we get there first. And chances are, if they're scrying to the top, then it's probably a card that they need, uh, obviously. And so, you know, we're probably not in amazing shape, but that's okay. Uh, it feels good that we've got a lot of stuff on the battlefield, but, you know, probably not ideal. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> um... Uh, let's do this first. Okay, um, we're gonna do this for nine, um, do we still have four left over? Did I miss? Oh, <laughs> duh, we have four left over because of this. Um, always forget that this actually does work with the uh, X stuff. So that's super good, but we have to, we're, we're basically saying, you know, if they've got a removal spell, that's gonna suck. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is a lethal attack, but I gotta guess that they've got something. Okay, explosion, yeah. All right, well, we are still saying, you know, they have to deal with all of our board or kill us this turn. Um, and I don't know, with only one team or wreck out, or wilderness wreck out, like, I don't know if they can just kill us. Um, if they've got another one, then maybe. But they've got to go through, it doesn't look like they're going to get to it. I mean, they got to go through 18 points of life here. And they don't have a million lands, and they've only got one Wilderness Rex. So, like, I'm feeling okay now. Um, 
Okay. I mean, they're gaining a lot of life, but Voracious Hydra has Trample, so I'm not stupendously worried about that. Um, I think we win. I have to assume we do if they're playing like this. I, I don't think that... Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Cool. All right, so we got two wins with this deck. I feel pretty good about that. Um, I think that's about as well as we could have expected with this. Um, I'm enjoying it, honestly. It feels like a slightly worse Simic Ramp deck uh, than a general Simic Ramp deck, to be honest. I think it could benefit from some other things like Uros and stuff, but uh, regardless, I really do enjoy this list. Excuse me. I think it's very, very fun. Uh, let's see what we got. Whew. Burpin. Sorry, guys. Uh, Tajik, huh? Um, so I'm actually really, really enjoying this list. I hope you guys are. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below because uh, we really do appreciate all the support. You guys have been really fantastic means a lot that you guys are watching all these videos and hanging out with us in different places. So thank you seriously from the bottom of our hearts. It really does mean a lot. So thanks a lot, guys. I will see you very soon with part two with the Simic Hill Hydra deck. Uh, really, really awesome name. I'll see you guys.